Long, long ago, in a far-fetched island, there lived a scientist who used to go to the lab and work with chemicals, play around with biological organs and try to find things. Well, it took him 80 years to find one discovery. Well, our future generations are going to define us exactly this way because they will be not using just the wet lab to discover drugs or do anything. They will be using computers. In fact, even today, we use computers in multiple biological approaches. In fact, the other day I was reading this journal on nature where this uh, research paper on nature which, which says that AI drug discovery is booming and there was a question now who owns the uh, drug, drug discovered that way. So well, uh, we will get into that in, in a little bit but today's title, today's topic of this video is why as a bioprofessional you must learn Python. So I gave you, gave you a glimpse of it in the beginning when I said there lived a scientist who used to do everything manually uh, in a wet lab, right? Well, that's the usual old way. But the new generation, like all of us, the Instagram generation, we are more computer savvy than the previous generation. So why do the same things the same way? Why not do it in a better way, right? So that is where we need to use computers. And in computers, one of the most important language, which as a biologist you should know is Python. So I'm going to give you a small glimpse of why exactly this is important and I'm also going to give you a solution of how to learn Python. So this video is going to be very important for you. Let's jump in with the first point. If you look at biological sciences, there's nothing but patterns, you know, it's all patterns, A, T, G, C, proteins, mRNA, DNA, everything is a pattern, right? So if it's all a sequence, it's all a pattern and one change in the peptide or one change in the uh, nucleo uh, nucleotide or nucleoside changes the entire game, right? So basically, we are looking at data. We are looking at a sequence of data. Right. In computer, computers it is 0 and 1, in uh, DNA there are 4 base pairs. So this data right, will be huge and you cannot analyze this manually. You need to use computers. So if you want to use computers, that is data analysis and data visual, visualization, then you need to learn Panda and NumPy. So NumPy and Panda are two different uh, su subsets uh, which is used to analyze large data sets. You can also use Matplotlib and Seaborn for uh, creating plots and graphs to visualize data. So basically you have the data, now you can use this py uh, Python modules to plot this as a graph and identify patterns, right? So that, that's one uh, very important point. The next one will be obviously bioinformatics. So other day I was talking to the data scientists at, at Grodia. So Grodia is one of the largest uh, and most successful computational biology company in drug discovery at this juncture. And uh, when I was talking to them, they told me that they extensively use BioPython. Now, BioPython is basically a collection of Python tools for computational biology and bioinformatics. And uh, they, in their lab, they are doing a lot of, uh, you know, se sequencing of data and performing alignments and analyzing protein structure. So when I was talking to them, I was really fascinated and basically Biotechnica has got a uh, branding tie up with them. So we requested that when, if you guys can spare out some time and train our students. So they said, well, we are very busy. And I requested the CEO, uh, Dr. Avinash, who is, himself is IIT and then now he started Grodia. So their team finally agreed after like months of requesting and they are coming up with an industrial Python uh, training course for biologists. So uh, this is the next step which I believe you all should know because a computational biology, a computational biology and drug discovery company which is going to train you on Python for biologists, I think that's very, very important because the Python courses which you get in the market today, they are not customized for biology students. But this company is using Python, is using bioinformatics tools in drug discovery in their company. So they will be well accustomed and the best part, the mentors of Grodia who are themselves from IIT. So IIT professors are also going to come up and train uh, you on this course. More details will be posted on Biotechnica shortly. So please stay tuned. So that's about the uh, bioinformatics where you can use BioPython. Now the third point which I have for you is machine learning and AI. So let's say this way, uh, we all talk about applications of AI in drug discovery. Imagine that you develop an AI which does the drug discovery, then who owns the patent? 
the AI owns the patent or you own the patent because you own the AI, right? Of course, you, you own the patent. So that's basically if you as a biologist in the future, you are able to develop, okay? If you're able to develop uh, AI which can do this or even if it can do 1% of it, the industry is going to embrace you because you will bring scalability and uh, cost effectiveness. And that is where you need to learn Python. You need to learn TensorFlow. You need to learn PyTorch. You need to learn scikit-learn. So these are the uh, modules again for Python for building machine learning models which can be used in predictive learning, pred predictive modeling, uh, image analysis and pattern recognition in biological data. So that's where uh, machine learning and AI uh, you can learn if you uh, have basic knowledge or advanced knowledge of Python and BioPython. The next one obviously would be, you see, uh, like I said, in the lo long lost land, there was a scientist who was working manually in a lab. But now he, this uh, scientist faced a lot of streamlining issues. Now, if you know Python, you can make programs which you can sell to the world. And, uh, you know, you can use Python to automate various lab procedures. So, you know, you should know this, there is a entire segment of lab management systems which is which are sold by a lot of uh, companies and uh, probably you can create a company like that if you know python so python can be used to automate and streamline lab processes reducing the risk of human errors and increasing the efficiency that is where python can be used and the next i think will be uh, the most logical step will be simulation and modeling so uh, you simulate biological process and systems and help in, in understanding complex biological phenomena, how exactly it happened, how the drug got absorbed into the cell and what reactions it did. All this simulation, all this modeling and coming up with better uh, biological delivery or bioavailability of the drug, that's something you can develop simulations and you can do a lot of biological modeling. So that's where Python comes into picture. The next will be integration with other tools and technologies. You know, Python is like an open um, book. So you can plug and play with multiple softwares and hard hardware. So you could, it has got the ability to connect with other softwares and hardware and that makes it a flexible choice for biotech professionals because you will be connecting it with various biological uh, other softwares also. And uh, the best part is like I have uh, tried learning Python and I have learned it also. I saw that Python is easier to learn because it is normal English language. It's not complicated coding. It is just normal how you speak, I speak. It's in English language, so it is easy. So Python syntax is clear and easy to learn, which is beneficial for biotech professionals who may not have a strong programming background. So again, and that is where I am coming to you saying that, see, if you're learning from Grodia scientists, data scientists, they are biological scientists. So they will be training you on biological aspects of Python, not the regular Python. And that's the best part. Another important reason why you should learn Python is because it is open source and it is collaborative and it is growing. So when something is open source, there are a lot of developers with whom you can collaborate and you can take up multiple projects and it helps you in freelancing I think that should be the ninth point here it helps you in freelancing you can take up a lot of uh, bio Python uh, outsourcing jobs and because it has got a robust set of libraries you can uh, you know take that library for example in Biotechnica we were doing an experiment I remember uh, to uh, like we generate a lot of videos to transcribe the audio of the videos. So we used AI and uh, Python and it worked like a charm. So because there are so many libraries, so we could do it. So uh, there are numerous libraries available and you can use any one of them for whatever is your choice. So you really don't need to develop something from scratch. You can just take the library and plug it in and you can start using it. That's where it will be. And then uh, again, you know, when you develop a program, you should be able to reproduce it in multiple computers and you know show so python helps you create reproducible workflows and comprehensive documentation which is crucial you know uh, when you are developing a program it is very easy to develop the documentation in python it is very easy to design the workflow and it is very easy to reproduce on other uh, workstations so that is where and the best part so far i have seen is uh, biology is big data and uh, of course, like in IBAB, you have big data biology um, MSc course also now. So biology is big data and Python helps you handle that big data. So you have libraries li like Dask, which you can use as a biotech professional, which and you can analyze a lot of uh, uh, big data efficiently using Dask. So that is one benefit you get. Then again, of course, it's, it has got cloud integrations. You can run the entire infrastructure in the cloud and not on your computer. So that makes it very scalable. So suppose your computer has a limitation, you can run it in the cloud, you can rent out a server and run it and still get the results. So, you know, that's a great thing. 
and i remember uh, uh, experiment which we were doing at biotechnica it was on internet of things like um, how do you use python to uh, do something in the real world like a drone which goes and uh, picks the product and delivers stuff like that so there you can use iot so inter uh, uh, python to develop the iot so it can be used to collect data from sensors and uh, you can use iot devices in biotechnology and that will be a big boon if you are able to so python again will be the base of that and then uh, i think uh, it will be uh, needless to say that uh, it has got uh, cross platform compatibility cross platform reproducibility of example you you did something on one os you can reproduce it on the other os because python runs the same way and the most important aspect is uh, when you are trying to run an experiment before you actually go full scale you would like to create a minimum viable product you will you would like to create a prototype so a prototype program creating in python is easy cheap and a guy who with basic python knowledge also can do it so what i believe is uh, it has got multiple and wide applications across the spectrum and it is going to grow in the future and the best part uh, us has got a lot of demand of uh, python bio python professionals in biology people who have a biological skill and they want they can learn, learn python and then you have uh, and it's worth investing your time learning python because it suddenly uh, you know launches you from a dry lab a wet lab scientist to a dry lab scientist it helps you scale your career and uh, it is not a hardcore biotech job but it is a scalable job into it and bio so that becomes a bio it job so bio it job is going to scale in the future right now i can see accenture posting a lot of bio it jobs i'm seeing wipro posting a lot of bio it jobs i am seeing even uh, multiple us biotech companies posting bio it jobs illumina and uh, pfizer so you know there are a lot of companies coming up with bio it jobs so that's a future which you can walk into if you are enrolling into the course which biotechnica and grodia is coming up jointly uh, the name of this course is a industrial python training program by data scientists from grodia and iit professors the details of that will be posted on biotechnica very very shortly so stay tuned and if you have any questions about python or biopython or applications and future scope put them down in the comment section or you can write to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org thank you so much see you soon in the next one till then keep shining bye bye Thank you.